10 o'clock in the morning, Jimmy's leaving for work, again, he'll be back about 8 o'clock tonight, so I got another day on my own, I'm probably actually going to go get food today, um, what else, I don't know what else, we'll see, I just updated my GPS, turn it on. Went up to the 3.85 beta firmware. Select setup geocaches to add custom filters. Setup. Geocaches. And filter setup. That's cool. Create filter. Huh. So you can say, cache size, I want to only find regulars and larges. And then say back. And then it updates that little thing. That's cool. Now. Alright, getting ready to go. Let's see how hot it is today. Because it's air conditioned in here. Oh, it's actually kind of cloudy out. No, no. Yeah. Some clouds. It's not that hot today, really. Nice. Okay, got some food. I went in there not really exactly knowing what I wanted to get. I didn't know what I wanted to make. But then I just kind of looked around and I saw some tortillas and I was thinking, those look pretty good. So I got all the other stuff to make some uh, burritos. So I got the tortillas, cheese, meat, beans, lettuce, tomatoes, olives, some seasonings and things. So we'll make some beef and bean and cheese burritos. It'll be good. Well, I'm here again. Um, I was working on a little video, another one for the hardcore gaming series on Open Channel. Um, basically we play simple, obscure video games, just really like little kid games, like one was about donuts, you had to stack them, but it all has like really hardcore heavy metal in the background playing. It's just a weird thing, and it's kind of turned into a series, so I'm doing a hardcore gaming Minecraft edition, so... Here's a little demo of it. I only have my headphones because I don't have my speakers with me here. But this is kind of like, what is that like? Okay, this is kind of a demo of it. But anyway, it just does that for like four minutes. It's just, you know, crazy drums, distorted guitars, and just digging for four minutes and 49 seconds. Almost five minutes of that. I'll show you the ingredients I got now, I guess. So this is everything that I got to make burritos. You got the tortillas, olives, refried beans, Shredded lettuce, cheese sauce, taco seasoning, two pounds of beef, cheese, tomatoes, and avocados. And we'll use all these ingredients to make some burritos. I also have some hidden chips. That's a bag. These are the chips. Chips on the side. And to drink. Strawberry melon brisk. Or Mountain Dew, whatever. And then Oreos for dessert.
Should be good. Like that. 740 now. So I will start cooking. This looks like it will work. Fine pan. What we'll start with? We'll start with the meat on this burner. I'll say about medium. Yes. And I get the beef. I don't think I need a full two pounds. Probably about half of this is good. So I'm going to cut out half of it now. Okay, that's heating up, so I'm going to start on the beans. This is an awkward handle. I got it though. They have separated a bit. I can use this over here. That one you can also, this one, go to medium. And I can put the beans into this. These are both going well. I have to prepare the seasoning packet. Okay, it's prepared. What else is there? There's the vegetables. The cheese, that, olives. Um, those can probably all just stay in the refrigerator for now. Oh yes, the cheese. I was going to do a secret with the nacho cheese sauce. trick for draining them. When you open the can, don't open it all the way. Leave about a quarter inch with the metal still connected. And then you can just, um, you know, just pour it out this way. Drain the can. And then, once it's drained, you can squeeze the can a little bit causes it to pop up, and then you can just fold it up, see, and there you go. That's your pro tip of the day. I need to uh, move this around now. Okay, what I actually did, since this is really lean beef, um, there's not a whole lot of oil in it, not a whole lot of fat, so I pulled all the meat to the side. I just sort of filtered the pan like this to get the oil all to one side and then I just absorbed it with a paper towel because I don't really have a way to drain it but anyway what you want to do is after you drain the oil turn, turn the heat down a little bit and then you want to add this seasoning mix and you put the whole package in here that and then put the whole thing in there and then you want to get some water I've only got one hand so you want to add in just a little bit of water just, just a little bit just enough to make a kind of sauce out of the stuff and then you mix that up. Now here's my little trick. I take the uh, nacho cheese sauce and I actually pour some of the nacho cheese into my ground beef. It kind of makes a cheesy beef sauce. It's actually really good in burritos. So now I'm just going to mix this in. As long as it tastes good, I don't really really care what it looks like. So, you know. But yes, it's coming along. I got to prepare the vegetables now that the meat's almost done. Yeah. Whoa. If what? I forget. 
here's our dinner. Everything is done and ready to consume. Should be good. I will consume it all. All of it? Yes. There's the stack of stuff. I don't know how to fold a, a burrito, though. Jimmy, how do you fold up a burrito? Okay. Uh, this is probably too much stuff in the burrito. Oh. So I don't... You probably will have to eat it with, like, a fork and stuff, but usually you, like, roll it up. I've watched a, um, watch people from Chipotle do this. You roll it up, then you go like this, and then you keep... Go, go like this, fold it over like On both sides. I have way too much in there, though. Yeah, huh? this is more I like a burrito bowl. I always put too much in my burritos. Oh, but it's still good. You can still eat it. And yeah. It's, It'll still be good. It's just too much in one shell. <laughs> we have surrendered. No! Give it back! No. <laughs> no! You're, Mike! You're ruining my vlog. Seriously. Let go of it. You're making too much noise. Let go of it. I would be able to survive. No, you wouldn't, because you're taking all the oxygen out. So you're breathing carbon dioxide. So it feels like you're breathing, but you're not getting any new uh, air. Yeah. I should probably stop. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is, um, I'm rendering out my, this, the Minecraft Hardcore Gaming, because the guy gave me permission to use his song in it. So it's all good now. I just... He suggested that I link back to his page, which I will do, so that'll be cool. This looks pretty cool. Okay, how about this? Oh, this is even brighter. Playing with lasers. Shining it in a chip bag. And the plastic of the chip bag causes the reflections just to go craziness all over the dang place. Ah! I couldn't get it in the middle. That's kind of cool. Yeah. It's just a green room.